When we look at the utilization, uh, I'd like to draw your attention to the top portion here, the bars. Now, typically, we can see that, okay, all our machines are actually running at a good capacity. The utilization is good. But if we spot this one here, you'll spot that the plan order is actually higher than what we have. What does it mean? What can we do about it? So let's look for the machine and problem. And we can see that it's this one here. We can see that the bar adjust that we have overbooked this machine. And we can look down here. If you look in the scheduling, you can see that there are actually two orders that are placed here. And this could sometimes perhaps occur when you have maybe multiple planners. Maybe two planners might have locked in the schedule at the same time, hence creating this conflict. And sometimes we can just, we are able to spot the fixes quickly, we can just move the system. And we can just make the necessary changes. And you can see your utilization already drops accordingly for this particular order. So, quick ways that we can plan drag and drop, but maybe one of the thoughts that you would have definitely is that, hey, I don't have so few orders only. <laughs> my production sales order, hundreds. No way that my planner is going to do drag and drop. Of course, we also built in functions. So right here, you can see here we have something called heuristic planning. Uh, let me just... So let me just collapse this. You can see the whole production overview first. So this is how it looks like. And if I put in this side, you can see these orders are unplanned for. And with the planning function, I will just simply help me to insert all these orders based on rulings that we have created. And this is what we get. So we have our production schedule lined up. And remember the third step that I talked about earlier when we start from easy planning, where you start with you know, just planning machine and personnel, and then we move on to planning secondary resources. And the next step, you could even consider auto planning. And this is where our AI functions even come in. So what I want you to observe is how scattered the orders are. And if we make the necessary changes, you will see that the schedule tightens up. The AI makes an improvement to the schedule that we have created. And you can see that the orders are now more closely packed together. And one thing that we would also need to highlight that yes, AI and automatic planning is here to help us with these functions. But sometimes there are still things that we will need to address uh, physically. This is a tool that helps your planner and what we have is that they can also work with something we call our conflicts list. So on the right here, you can see the different categories that is already highlighted to you. So for example, now I've selected basic end date violated, which means even with the AI planning, there are some production orders that has exceeded the required end date. And to track it very simply, we can highlight the order here and you will see that it's highlighted on the screen. You can see this highlight blue here. That's the order. You can see the blue highlight again over here on top. So even with the AI planning, we have tools that are included in our system to also allow you to have assistance when making your production planning. And very simply, that was our Fedra tool. Uh, I hope that it was an insightful experience for you. And before we close, I would just like to highlight as well, our booth is actually just right around the corner behind. It's the yellow colored booth. Uh, I think there's another one that's also yellow colored. But yes, you can come and look for the one MPDV labeled booth. Uh, we'll be more than happy to engage with you further if you have further questions. And also, if you'd like to know about our MES Hydra, please visit us for more information. And with that, yeah, I thank you for your time. Uh, have a nice rest of the day.
All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Another warm round of applause to Carl. Mr. Carl, here I give. Thank you for the simulation and so much more. I'll just open the floor for any Q&A if you have any questions for Mr. Carl. Let's go through the seats accordingly. No show of hands. That's okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Carl. All right. Uh, as now we will just move on. There's another pocket talk that's happening at 3 p.m. So please stay tuned. Uh, for now, uh, you may go around to look through the exhibition as the next part is about revolution, revolutionizing Malaysia manufacturing the future of 3D printing with Mark Forge. Okay, so that is after that.